Hi everybody, I'm uh, Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook. This is your reading for the 18th to the 24th of November. Time is going really rapid. Okay, my darlings, welcome and I love you, my cyber babes, and welcome back and thanks for your support to the cyber family and the channel, the tea room as well. I uh, hope to see you tonight and every night. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button and the bell, and then you'll be notified when I go live or when our, uh, new videos are loaded up. If you uh, would like to make a donation or get an extended reading, then please look in the description box down here below the video. And there you can see the donation button and the email address charliesangeltarot at gmail.com. Uh, there are uh, not only super chats available, but also um, in the super chat you'll get four cards, uh, three cards really, and an oracle card. And for 555 five, five euros, you can get uh, a reading of f f uh, four, uh, three cards and two oracle cards. And uh, for 11, 11 euros, you can get a nine card spread and uh, without clarification, but with three oracle cards. And um, for an extended reading, there's a special pre-launch price at 35 euros, and you get between 30 and 45 minutes a reading. Okay, just let me know if you would like an extended reading, just send the email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, here we go. Um, this is for Capricorn, and we've got on Monday the 18th, the Ten of Swords. You might feel stabbed in the back. Usually it's a person lying on the, on the floor with Ten Swords in his back. But here you are, you've got the goddess Athena. She's calling a halt. She's holding up her hand like the two, the three stooges, this could be representing voices in your head because you're overthinking things. Stop, indeed. Stop talking to, uh, stop thinking and listening to those little voices, okay? There's no need for that. Just get up, dust yourself off and continue because there's a new beginning. There is an end of negativity. Stand up, dust yourself off and you can continue to this new beginning. A 10 becomes a 1. You can work in groups. You've got the fish. Luck in work and business. Working in groups is one of your um, best talents. Know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries. Okay. As fish do not have borders. Okay. Or boundaries. In midweek, you've got the Queen of Cups. You might be meeting the Queen of Cups, Capricorn. And this is a lovely lady. This could be a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. She's loving, passionate and nurturing and caring. She's a good friend to have. If you're, it might even become a relationship. You Or you might be cutting with one of these people because we've got the definition card, cutting done with the past that could have been that person that uh, was nasty to you uh, as it is lying next to the ten of swords you've got the good and bad but usually they're lovely nurturing people so you might be cutting with this uh, person but you will also harvest for example um, if you are in a in in divorce with this person you might be harvesting um, some money uh, or other uh, uh, wins, uh, I forgot now. You might be harvesting something else, like furniture or whatever. And you're cutting with the past and you're harvesting. But you, if you have an experience like that, you'll be harvesting a wisdom on what it is like to be divorced or to get divorced. You're also harvesting uh, good memories that you can learn from and from bad, bad memories. You will always learn from all kinds of situations and that is what you're taking with you. It doesn't really only have to be material. 
okay? It's also spiritual wisdom, exp life experience. It enriches you in one way or another. So you can learn from your mistakes so you won't make them again. At the end of the week, you have again death, an ending of a phase, an ending of a phase, a new beginning. You are the caterpillar, but you're changing into a butterfly. Again, abundance. You've got the ship coming in. Okay, you is an airship in this uh, deck, so you might be going on holiday to refresh yourself and uh, rejuvenate yourself after such a battle. Then in the weekend, we've got the Empress. You might be meeting an Empress whilst you're on holiday or traveling. Wow. The Empress stands for fertility, birth, new beginnings, growth, blossoming, harvesting, and um, again, harvesting, like the sickle. Okay, there might be some disagreements if it is in business, about money, uh, about inf investing. If you are uh, pregnant, or you find out that you're pregnant and you don't want to be pregnant, um, you should have taken precautions. Um, don't have an art disagreement about being pregnant. Think about it. Talk about it. There's always um, a manner to solve the problem. Okay. My mum used to say you can always knit the sleeve longer. She used to be a knitter. And so am I. You can see that by my knitting needles. Okay. So, and don't give anybody any ammunition. Don't invest in arguments. Okay. That is how you could see it as well. So something is growing and something is coming to blossoming because your boat is coming in. And I think that's the stronger energy and the most positive energy, whether it's life experience, knowledge or material. Also, the energy is you can take the, the gamble. That's the energy that is around you you can you've got the dice so like blackjack or whatever it's called i don't know i don't gamble but i it just came up in me blackjack take a gamble like blackjack you're the magician so you can make it work into your advantage a new beginning you've got loads of new beginnings you've got a new beginning here a new beginning at the beginning of the week at the end of the week and the weekend and the overall energy is the magicians you can make your dream come true or your goal or your wish then we have wait don't do things in uh, in haste because you have to repent in leisure then you have the ruby angel feather two hearts are sealed as one like I said, you might be meeting an empress or a cancer if this is not finishing with a cancer, okay? You might actually be finished with the past and meeting a, a cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces and start a new beginning, but you've harvested the experience from the past and you're taking that with you. So this relationship will be better. The angels have heard your prayers to meet your soulmate and are here to inform you that this person will arrive in your life very soon. So don't do anything in haste. Wait until she or he comes. If you're a lady, it will be a he and then it could be a nurturing male because we all have the feminine and the masculine inside of us. I hope you've enjoyed this reading for the 18th till the 24th and I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And don't be don't go to the casino and gamble away hundreds of euros, but take a small gamble, buy a scratch card and see whether your, your luck is at hand. Because, like I said, your boats are coming in. Even if it is $5 or 5 euros, have, have a gamble, just for the sake of it. 
take number 3 or 9 or even 12 because 3 and 9 become 12 and 12 becomes 3 so perhaps um, uh, 3 would be a nice number play with the figure okay listen to your intuition and I hope you uh, win let me know if you do thank you and take care and see you tonight and be blessed and have a super week